Hey guys, it's Mrs. Adams. Uh, welcome to a Project Lead the Way class uh, for this quarter. This is all new to you. Um, sorry that we can't be face to face, but that is just uh, better safe than sorry. So for our first lesson today, for every lesson, I'm going to go ahead and do a screencast for those of you who can't make it to class. Or if I go a little too fast, then you can go back to the video or perhaps someone's not behaving appropriately on um, the Google Meet, then you can go back to the video and figure out what it is you need to do. So we're gonna start with the introduction to engineering. What do engineers do? This is the very first uh, lesson in the assignment. So first thing is a video, what do engineers do? So it's a little bit of information. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you.
Okay, so just a little bit about um, what an engineer does. Okay. So science, technology, engineering, and math is STEM. That is what this class is focusing on. So if you want to know a little bit about, more about STEM, we'll watch this video. All right, excellent. So um, that's what this class, um, my class for seventh and eighth grade do. And then these classes are available for the high school um, for the same reason, okay? So STEM skills are important. All right, so what is STEM? STEM is um, science, technology, engineering, and math working together to solve problems based on societal needs and wants. So every, if we have a product, the scientists investigate the natural world, technologists apply the science and math to design, engineers create the designed world, and mathematicians use numbers and symbols to solve those problems. So if we're creating a product using STEM, for example, if we have a pencil, the science behind the pencil is the discovery of graphite, and the fact that rubber will erase that graphite. The engineering is that the, someone designed a device with graphite insert, exterior holder, and an attached eraser. 
the math of a pencil is like what is the optimal length, diameter, shape of the de device, and what how much should it weigh? And then technology, creating and writing a writing device that doesn't use ink. So needs and wants, uh, this is again another information about engineers. So we, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. So engineers, yeah. so engineers basically are problem solvers. They are solving problems to help us um, meet our needs and our wants to make life a little bit easier um, all the way around. So basic human needs, you got physical needs, biological needs, and psychological needs. So basic food, clothing, and shelter. Um, water, clean water, but just you know, basic food to drink. Uh, psychological needs is your family and friends. So when you know, like when we're not at school, everybody gets a little sad because they're they can't find their friends. So that's a psychological need. Uh, once our you know, a nice car or a nice house, nice clothes, name brand things, fresh water, fancy food, living healthy, having healthy food to eat, psychological wants, uh, talking with the family, seeing your friends, hanging out, going to the movies. These are things that you don't necessarily need to live, um, but they're nice to have. Okay. So technically you can live in a cardboard box. That's the shelter. Um, but it's not what we want out of life. So engineers use the scientific, technological, and mathematical knowledge to solve practical problems. An engineer is a person who strives to make our lives better, easier, cheaper, more efficient, and more fun by solving problems of everyday life. There are um, different things for engineering. This is going to come into the next project. So the inventions and innovations, there is a difference between the two. We're going to watch a video to kind of help um, differentiate the two. But an invention is the development of a new product, system, or process that has never existed before. And an innovation is the improvement of an existing technological product, system, or method.
Okay, so that was a great video and it kind of talks a little bit also about um, the design process. So that very last slide talked to you, basically showed you the design process, which we will um, chat about in class as well. Okay. So engineers work to solve many kinds of problems. So we heard from the first video that an electrical engineer may design a GPS for a car. Pharmaceutical or chemical engineer may find a cure for a disease. Computer engineer may build a computer uh, the size of your watch. Mechanical engineer may create a robot to discover water on a planet. And an agricultural engineer may evaluate the effects of global warming on food production. Uh, regardless of what type of engineer, um, their jobs are to make our lives a little better and a little easier. So we have some discussion questions uh, that's going to lead us into the next project. So after reviewing the um, PowerPoint, there is a worksheet for you to fill out. Um, you can do this along with the, um, the slideshow. So the first part is um, complete the questions below in your own words. What is science, technology, engineering, and math? And then remember how I had the pencil um, with what product are you thinking about? And then what is the science, technology, engineering, and math behind that product? So shoes, for example, toothpaste, toothbrush, hair dryer, hairbrush, whatever you can come up with. And then tell me what are the things that go with that. And then what do you think is the difference between a need and a want? And then here, give me some examples. Things that we can't live without. So basic food, basic clothing, basic shelter, um, basically, you know, being with your family. And what are some wants? And you can take the information straight from the PowerPoint. What is an engineer? Okay, you, there are two videos that can help you uh, answer that question, as well as some examples of what an engineer does. And then we talked about the invention and innovation. What is invention? What is innovation? And what is the difference between them? Then why do you think you need, we're learning about engineering and technology? Okay. And then the last part is uh, matching the type of engineer with the kind of problem they may solve. So these are the engineer types that were mentioned in the PowerPoint. And you can just click, uh, select these and drag them into what problem they're going to solve. And your conclusion questions uh, are in your head questions. So there's not really a right or wrong. Um, what product or system would make your life better? Is this an invention or an innovation or maybe an improvement on, an, on a current innovation? And then what type of engineer might work on that product? Okay, so that is your assignment for today. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.